Balls of Emo on podcast show delving into the world of magic and mystery. The pent angle is often confused as a pentagram. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, pentagram is a synonym for pentagram. But that's not how the words are generally used in witchcraft. In witchcraft, the word pentagram refers to a five-pointed star with a single point usually facing upward. Pentagrams are often ringed by a circle, touching all five points of the star, but a circle is not necessary for something to be called a pentagram. The word pentagram most often refers to a disc-shaped working tool, generally out of made of clay, metal or wood, with a star in the centre. The centre stars tend to be have five points, though the variation to appear from time to time and vary from which to which. A pentagram got charm and a necklace is often called a pentacle too, which makes sense because like the working tool, it's a physical object generating made generally made out of metal, clay or wood. Both pentagram and pentacle came from the Greek word pentagramanon Petra being Greek for five, think pentagram, and gramanon meaning it line, pentacle Last came into the English language during the 16th century. It originally referred to any magical disc used to summon angels or dem- demons, generally referred to as spirits in the box of the period. Most often these discs contained five pointed stars, but not always. The 16th century King, King of Solomon, for example, provides instructions for creating 44 different pentacles, only two of which remain contain a five-pointed star. The word pentagram has only been used twice in the 19th century, but ten- pentagrams are the understanding of today. A long history of religious and magical tradition. Five-pointed stars are used in ancient Greece, Sumer, Babylon, into India, China, Mexico and Peru. A pentagram was later used in Christian tradition to represent the five wounds of Christ upon the cross for the good luck. The device has appeared on the shield of the legendary sagrain of King Arthur's round table. In the Jewish tradition, the five-pointed star can be seen in Kabbalah, where claims that it was used to, as a seal for Jerusalem. To the followers of the Greek Pathogos, a five-pointed star was valued in its mathematical precision. And because it's said to represent the five points of the human body, head, arms and legs, a similar idea was expressed by Henry Cornelius Agrippa in his second book of occult philosophy. Agrippa is used to the modern sun bill, made it forever synonymous with Western magical traditions, and by extension modern witchcraft, often contemporary groups to use a pentagram, including the Freemasons, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In modern day witchcraft, the pentagram right sided up is said to represent the triumph of spiritual over material. The upward point represents spirit, with the other five points representing water, fire, and air. When listed clockwise, the up, upside down pentagram is often associated with satanic or left hand, hand path traditions, and popularized for this purpose in the 1960s by the founder of Christ, Satan. Anton Lavia, 1930-1997, because it represented the triumph of material over the spiritual. In some Wiccan traditions, the upside-down pentacle represents a witch elevated to the second degree, a reputation that predates Levy's church. What is a pentacle used for? Most witches' books that include a pentacle say little about it. Generally, it's listed as an element of earth, as something used to consecrate salt, water, incense, or candles. These things are true, but they downplay the pentacle's original meaning and its significance in circle. In Witchcraft Today, 1954, Gerald Gardner writes that the unimportant pentacle was said to be used in common spirits, command spirits, though he points out that most witches don't really command spirits or other sensible forces. Gardner's thoughts of the pinnacle and West, West Witchcraft today are valuable because they lead light, shed light in the pentacle true function in the modern craft. 
Certainly, the Pentacles are used for contracting and changing items, but the original use for the tool, total the call, to call upon the elderly entities, beginning the rest of the Renaissance and continuing through the early 20th century. These entities were variously described as spirits, demons, or angels, many of which still work with such beings, but many more of us did not work with entities. God, this is God's everything in between. The pentacle is not just a world at all, just for con- 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 concentrating things. It's a window between the worlds, and we can open it. I often think of pinnacles on my altars or um, pinnacle called as is what connects my spiritual space to powers much greater and higher than myself. When I was a thesis, my mother was a higher powder. Now now I honour the higher powers of the Lord and Lady through the pinnacle. Its magic circle is a space between the worlds. It makes sense and there could be some way, sort of gateway into the other world of our altars. Its ritual gods don't suddenly emerge. Just, don't just suddenly emerge from the pinnacles and altars. But I do feel there's something great deal of power and energy radiate, which is probably the reason the pentacle is used for charging and concentrating things. When blessing the elements of ritual, using represented by water, salt, incense, and light, light candle, each individual element is put upon the pentacle for con- concentration. I think most witches simply place things on the pentacle without wondering why. But we let set things on the pentacle because it's a bridge between the worlds. It's a place radiating power. It's holy because the god exists just on the magical side of it. It's just for this reason that many witches also place magical items on their pentacles to charge. So magical magicians are sometimes prefer to a personal pentacle as a pentacle because it contains the word pan, which translates to everything of all in Greek. Unlike the traditional pentagram, the pent, pent agogram, is an extremely personal tool, it's designed to represent how the individual magician understands the entire universe and their magic, and their place within it. Pentacles often include a magician's magical motto, a phrase designed to emphasize the magical nature of the practitioner. I like the idea of a very personal pentacle. Though I don't think I ever met another witch who uses the word pentacle when talking about their ritual tools. This bit about the pentacle was asserted from the witch's altar, the craft, law, magical and sacred space by Laura Tempest, Sakharov and Jason McGree. Book includes instructions for making your own pentacle, rituals to change, Charge and bless the pentacle. It also includes a whole lot of stuff about altars. The Wells altar can be pre ordered on now on Amazon, Lithuanian worldwide websites, and at your local witch store. The amazing art in this piece is included in the book by an incomparable Mickey Muller. You've been listening to the whole of your podcast show. I've been talking about magical, magical things. The pentacle, the witch, from the witch's toolbox.